Whiskey Jason here, a whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Look at this little puppy here, Jim Beam Signature, Six Greens, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Oh, only the six-year-old, um, 44.5%, so 89 proof, yay. All right, now the very, very first thing I must um, complain about is the wax. So, um, pour a little bit in my glass here. So, taking off the wax, you have all these crumbles here. I have all these. I just dislike that with a little bit of a passion, to be honest, but that's okay. And the second thing I really, really hated was, look at this. Yeah, that cork bro broke off. I had a lot of problems getting it out. And da-da-da, now I will have it finished. This is the one liter bottle. Now, if you go to Whiskey Base, which is the place I go here, um, that is then Whiskey Base number 18964, you will see that this is online at the moment available for a wonderful price of $150, where many of my American friends are going to go, what the? <laughs> All right, so I at the auction, I paid basically $80 for this bottle, which is way too much, I know, but I wanted to have it. So sometimes fear of missing out, that's the way things go. What are the six grades here? This was actually a 2010 release, if I have my information correct. As it is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, it has to be minimum uh, 51% cork. And on top of that, there's rye. On top of that, there's malted barley. On top of that, there's wheat. On top of that, there's uh, tree turkle. <laughs> uh, so I hope I got that halfway right. And then that's the hybrid from wheat and um, rye. And then there's brown rice in here. Yay. So something that's happening in the States more and more is so they're using brown rice. Brown rice is in the European Union not considered a grain. Um, so anything made from brown rice would be a type of spirit, but would not be a whiskey. Um, bourbon is protected. Um, so you could still call it a bourbon, but it would have to be 150% plus um, corn in there. All right. Very, very, very interesting. Now, there are not many people at all writing about this. Um, that was very, very difficult to find any type of information at all. If I go to one of my favorite places for information in the world for whiskey, it's Whiskey Cask. Um, he actually had a news update here um, on the June 2014. I was talking about the six new expressions being rolled out by Jim Beam. Um, some of these new signature expressions, and one of them was to be the six grain bourbon. And it's available on available travel retail during 2010. All right. So let's go to the tasting here. It is a one liter bottle, travel retail. Um, in the States, you have 750 milliliters. And in Europe, we have 700 milliliters. But yet, in both countries, we can sell one liter bottles. Maybe that's the answer to all our problems. Well, in America, you now actually allow to have um, 700 milliliters bottles imported. What am I going to compare it to? Gem Beam Double Oak. Why? Uh, because this was the closest thing that I got, actually. Um, I do have a Knob Creek, but it's 50% with a nine-year-old. I do have some other stuff over here. But actually, if I just pour this screw cap, I am getting something from the nose which is similar, which really surprised me at the very, very beginning. Let's try to put this on here. Oh, by the way, design of this bottle is crappy. I'm going to just use the word crappy. All right, so um, what do we have here? Master Distillers Series. So if you look at this bottle, no, look, there's the word signature. Look, Fred, no, and look, we have Master um, Distiller Series. It's not even, you can't even see it. Yeah, the bourbon is so dark that it doesn't even look like it's there. That is not well designed at all. Um, so from the back side, you can almost see it even a little bit better in there. Oh, yay. So that's actually well done that way. So, <laughs> so um, that's life. All right, on the nose. If you were to ask me to describe this whiskey, it would be a normal 
good bourbon with a tiny, tiny little bit of a twist at the end. And the twist is going to be something for me, which is peculiar, peculiar, wow, I can't talk today, something that's special. <coughs> That is, I have sunflower. Sunflower seeds, sunflower dust, sunflower. All right? I do not get it very often. Every once in a while, I get something pop, pops in my brain. I'm at my aunt's house. She had the sunflowers. We would, in the fall, be able to hack them down and then gather, um, then dry the, the heads and dry the seeds and then use it either as bird, bird, uh, bird food or actually bird feed is a better word here or actually eat it ourselves. And so, um, but that sunflower moment is what I'm getting here. Over here, I get a nice dark chocolate, not chocolate, caramel. Um, I like the double oak. It's not my favorite, but it's for the value for money. Um, not bad, to be very honest. We're talking at over here 20 some euros for this. All right, 44.5, 43%, one liter bottle. 80 euros over here 20 some for the 0 0.7 let's try it let's see if this um weird note continues on to the palette mm -hmm. i'm getting a nice mouth feel it's almost as if this would not be non-chilled non filter um, it doesn't say anything anywhere. I can't find any information online at all about that. Um, the Whiskey ex Exchange have, for example, listed as a little bottle of Jim Beam Signature. A limited edition six-year-old Jim um, Old Beam bottled at the slightly stronger than usual strength of 44.5%. This is the first in range of super premium small batches of beam and has been distilled by Fred No from an unusual family mash recipe involving a combination of six different grains. And it's a little bottle of 100 <laughs> milliliters. All right, so 1,000 milliliters and 100 centiliters, so one liter. All right, and actually there should be a, um, a leather bag that I did not get when I bought this online at the auction. <laughs> With Fred no big on it and so on. So, um, But that's all the information I have basically here. There's not much going on. I found another site that had the 11-year-old. Be careful. Um, so, but um, that's not what we want. There's a lot about a six row barley out there, but there's not that much about the six grain. If you have more information about the Jim Beam signature six year old six grain, please write it down in the comments or send it as an email to whiskeyjason at gmail.com, whiskeyjason and one word, and that would be very, very helpful. Nice mouthfeel. This is a C plus type of whiskey. It lingers on, it has a little bit of an oily type of moment. A positive oily, yeah? a little bit like furniture polish and um, line seed oil type of moment. Um, interesting, very, very interesting. Just go over here real quick, cleanse the palate. Jump beam double oak. Mm-hmm. A different mouth feel. This feels like it's been chill filtered. This feels that it has a, I'm going to use the word enormous amount of oak in here. I like, but I'm sure it's going to turn some people off. It's got a little bit too much oak. And it's actually a okay whiskey. C in my book. This is moving up C plus plus B minus minus. The more I drink it, the more I like it. Um, I filtered it. I strained it. There is no cork whatsoever left in it. That was very, very important. Took the cork out within the 10 minutes of it falling in. Took me that long to strain everything, get everything all set up here and so on. So I don't think it had any influence whatsoever. Um, but this is good. The price is absolutely, um, disgusting. But the flavor profile as well as the mouthfeel is of a unique bourbon mm -hmm. 
a little bit of a sweet wood moment. I'm going to stick with the sunflowers, actually. It's not floral as in rose petals. It's actually floral as in sunflower flower. Um, good. Uh, good. I'm going to give it a B minus minus C plus plus. I like this. I compared it to the, um, I can do this again here, uh, to the Knob Creek. The Knob Creek has a much higher proof and has a little bit more of a, power to it which didn't this was actually better than this i'm not the biggest fan of knob creek i love Bo bookers now if you gave me bookers and you gave me knob creek and you gave me wild turkey 101 you gave me heaven hill um batch strength and so on barrel proof and um, this is gonna lose <laughs> so it's just not up there for my flavor profile it has that nuttiness in there that i'm not used to um, or it's not a particularly a fan of, let's say that. All right, very, very good. So if anyone has any information about this, please um, write me, as I said, whiskeyjason at gmail.com. Put in the comments, whatever, links, um, any other information you can find. Information you can find out there, that would be very, very helpful. Value for money, what I paid for at the 80 euros is more of a D. It's not worth the money, but it is unique because I don't know anyone else that has it. Yay! One of a kind. And I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of pictures of them, other people holding up their bottles and going, look, got it too. <laughs> All right, good. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing, sharing, telling others about this crazy guy over here in Europe tasting not just bourbon sometimes that you might not have ever seen, but also Irish and world whiskeys and German whiskeys and scotch even. So I'm doing a lot of videos at the moment, so I hope you like them. All the best. And thank you very much for helping me reach the 2000 mark on my subscriptions. You guys are great. All the best. Bye bye. Thank you.